Hello Slackfish community and welcome back to another World of Tanks console video. So in this video, I'm going to be driving the FB101. A Era 1 British light tank that you get for the Western Alliance. So you go from the Centurion 2 to the FB101 and to the FB107. So that's basically an alliance. It's like a mini detour line all from the medium tanks, the Challenger 2 line. The light tank line for the British in Cold War do not get an actual line. You gotta jump from medium to me you gotta jump from medium to light to light to medium to heavy medium to medium to light to medium to light to medium to heavy. Which is weird. Very weird way to do it. Don't know why it's not like just like an entire line by itself, just like the BMPs or any other light tank line. Instead of just Jumping back to forth from mediums, heavies to lights, the lights to mediums, heavies, which is really weird. Anyway, let's talk about the 107. Now, the FV 107, I mean the 101. So, the FV 101 is a very unique tank. The only rounds that it gets, it gets a high explosive round, and its premium round is the high explosive, which the premium round is not really considered a premium round because the premium round is just in every which way worse. Like, it's not even a premium round. Like, it has less damage. The standard shell, standard high explosive, does 90 penetration. And the premium, well, the second shell, is 48 millimeters of penetration. Um, the only reason to load the other one, also the other high explosive round, the second high explosive round, it's slower by like 20 meters. Yeah, and it does have 0.3 better splash damage than the standard tight puzzle, but that's not really a trade-off to lose 50 millimeters of penetration. Anyway, so the 101 is a very fast little light tank. It is fast, it's small, it's got a good gun. If you know how to use it, the gun can be amazing. Now, the FE 101 and the FE 107. The 107, it's faster. And it has a five shot autoloader gun that does minimum amount of damage, but quick reload. But there's also the 101, where you got the high explosive gun. It's a little bit slower, but you have the potential to do way more damage with your actual gun if you know where to pin, where to shoot most tanks. And also fighting like PT 76s, uh, Type 773s, getting back behind tanks super fun in this tank like you got you're doing 240 damage per shot i believe it is and it's yeah hold up 250 damage per shot with a reload of 3.5 seconds in time is 1.6 accuracy is 0.3 just doing 250 damage in era three at uh, era one every 3.5 seconds is really nice to have you can rack out a lot of damage if you know where the pin, where the shoot, and that, that stuff like that. Uh, the 101 can also only can also track tanks way better than the 107 because it has better module damage and it's also high explosive. High explosive are really good at taking down buildings, damaging exterior mod modules like guns and tracks. And you're going to see me do that with the T95 E3s. Now, uh, the equipment I run in this tank is the Events Optics, Events Concealment, Events Loader, and the Powertrain. My skills would be Born Leader, Supply Conservation, Rapid Loading, Situation Awareness, Run and Gun, Steady Aim, and Camouflage Expertise. Now, also, the 101 is pretty good at lighting tanks on fire. So, G95 E3 right here. Pot smoke, he fires. Now, I'm going to get in. Now, my goal is to track the T95E3 into place. Put one into his track, damage his track. The second shell is going to track them. I'm also going to get track assist. And I'm going to stay back here. Never get a single. He's never going to shoot me because he's got to swing his little turret around. I'm going to put multiple shots into him. And he's dead. <laughs> very easy tank. Very fun tank. Love it. Anyway, that's it for this room. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Fish because we're not. And peace out. See ya.